here's one that's been a big one for me lately, and it, it's kind of hard to prove a negative. It's kind of like um, it's hard to prove that Bigfoot doesn't exist, it's, it, but it's hard to prove that. It's kind of along those lines. You, you look at a stock, and then you see a stock take off, and you just want to kill yourself, not kill yourself, but slap your head, slap yourself in the head because <laughs> you didn't take it. But what, what you're failing to realize is, and this is a this is, this goes into a deeper neurology that we could we could certainly unpack at some point in time. But there's a lot to it, and it's just the way your brain works from a neurological standpoint. A little psychology in there too. But you're going to pick out that one time, or multiple times, but where the stock takes off without you. But you're not going to catalog how many times taking similar action, which you should not have taken. You know, if it's a great setup, then by all means, take it, okay? And then, yeah, beat yourself up if you don't take a great setup. But if you're doing S&G trading, okay, and if you're day trading, you should be swing trading and position trading, it's something out of your forte, right? If, you, if you're seeing these moves take off without you, well, what you could do is make darn sure you develop a methodology for that. But the problem with that is, if you've worked on your trend following moron stuff for 20 or 30 years, or at least 10 or five, it's going to take a little while to, to kind of shift gears and do something new. But what you need to do is, is track when you don't act. And I've got this little digital notebook here. And I started writing down, it's on the chart, so I don't know if I can grab it or reach, but I started writing down things when I when I don't act, things that I'm things that I'm tempted to do. And and maybe number six. 672, 171 will be track your temptations. So track when you don't act. 